Welcome back to this special edition of the Savage Report. I'm Andy Savage. We're here at the 1.2 million square foot Boeing manufacturing facility right here in North Charleston for the historic rollout of the first 787 Dreamliner made right here in the Low Country. The who's who of the political and business world are here, but we wanted to hear from some of the 6,000 workers who landed one of Boeing's coveted jobs. What is it like to work for this major airline manufacturer? It's an excellent company. Actually, we're a family. We work uh, to build a dream, our 787 Dreamliner. So everybody's excited, everybody's work together, and no defects, and work hard. I'm coming from Alabama, and I usually work over there, and everybody moved to here, because everybody was excited to build a new dream line. So we just moved, and my family, and everybody's here happy now. I just applied from there. I was transferred from my company, and apply, and I try, and I love it, so I stay. The question everyone I know wants me to ask you is, any tips on getting a job with Boeing? Go online, applyboeing.com, and you can go to school. They, get, they send you to school, they train you, they give you a lot of opportunities and a lot of benefits, and they enroll you. It's pretty exciting knowing that you're making history, really. It's uh, making big airplanes, and it's, it's a big responsibility, though, too, because it's, like, it's not like making uh, furniture. Because if furniture fails, then okay, you got a broken leg on a desk. But if your airplane fails, that's hundreds and thousands of people. I got the job. I just applied online. It was not, um, I didn't know anybody. It was, I just got the job because, like I said, I had the inventory control experience. And, and, that, and everybody asked me, how do you get a job at Boeing? And I really, you know, it is a very, they go through a very, um, structured thing it's not like oh my uncle works there I can get you in so it's anybody can get a job here the Trident Technical College here that's an awesome way to get in because then you can go there for two years and get um, an associate's degree and really make a good living here so. I originally hired in Boeing 20 almost 26 years ago uh, in Everett uh, my family's worked on uh, worked for Boeing since uh, the B-17s so um, I still have family up north that work there. Um, basically, I got my job through my dad, you know, right out of high school. So it's uh, it's been a, it's been a pretty neat ride. This is actually my second time working for Boeing. It's of course been in the news all that NLRB um, and you know the, the the whole controversy there. Did that affect the morale within the, the within the plant or anything like that, or were you guys just watching it on the news like everyone else? Um, I've only been back here for this last year, so I really wasn't in on a lot of that. Um, so I really couldn't comment on that. When you talk to your friends back in Everett, what are the conversations like? Uh, we try to steer away from all of that. Uh, my buddies, they uh, they really don't care. You know, they're just glad that I'm back working for Boeing again, and uh, hope that I do well. You know, it's an exciting opportunity, uh, especially on working on a project that's uh, on the ground level. Uh, new innovation, um, very rewarding uh, experience as we produce this great product for Boeing. Tell me about your background. Where are you from and how did you land in Charleston here at Boeing? Uh, Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, I was working uh, depot level maintenance and uh, my job was uh, going out of business and Boeing was hiring and I was uh, picked up by Boeing and have enjoyed it ever since. Finally, anyone watching and wants to know how did you get your job? How can they get a job at Boeing? Do you have any inside tips? Anything that might help folks? Uh, well, apply. Uh, be persistent on uh, working to get a job here. Uh, that's basically through the application process. Ron Steele, thanks so much for joining us. No problem a at Boeing all. A Boeing employee, how proud are you today? I am so proud. This so was a excited. Great, great day. Yeah, it when was. I saw the Burke Band and everybody mm -hmm. marching behind it, the chills just went up my spine. Yeah. You know, one thing I noticed when I was in the factory uh, earlier today, it's so quiet in there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, uh, in some buildings it's quiet, but I know in mid-body it, it gets a little noisy sometimes, and I know in, on aft body it gets noisy, but final assembly is kind of quiet. Well, you're one of the 6,000 employees mm -hmm. here, one of the lucky ones, and I know there are thousands more waiting, all hoping to get a job at Boeing. Give me the inside secret. 
just to be patient. Be patient, uh, do your best, um, look online and uh, see jobs that you're interested in, and just, just be patient. So those folks that are out there looking for a job today, they don't have to worry about having been in the aircraft industry. No, just they apply. Come from all types just of backgrounds. Just apply, and I mean, uh, just look online if there are uh, things that, that they that they see that uh, match their resume. I would encourage anybody to apply. Education, so, of course, is very important. It is very important. And when we come back, more from the historic rollout of the 787 Dreamliner here in North Charleston. You're watching the Savage Report on Comcast C2, all local, all the time.